Hello Aries, welcome to your reading. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel guys. I appreciate you very much. So this is going to be your reading for the next 15 days. I have practice, compassion, see things from a fresh perspective, be willing to express love, express love, to receive love, take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. So, I feel like this person um, is just about, you know, taking a chance, allowing things to unfold, wanting to express their feeling, um, calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualiz visualizations help bring you together. So I think, you know, there is a lesson to be learned. However, um, I'm seeing <coughs> self-care, self-love is being needed here. I feel like this person needs to work more on that area of their life. So it's time to take back control of your life. Self, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So there's that energy of needing to... Uh, look into taking care, um, healthy choices, um, in love and in life. So there is also receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. So it could be both parties because energies can be vice versa. Um, there's the sailboat here, which means someone could be traveling towards you by boat. Um, or is moving to calmer waters. That's why this energy of freeing yourself and loving yourself first is showing up here. And then we have a clock, need time, takes time, in time, cycles, time to heal progress. So in time, there's a possibility that there will be a reunite um, for the two of you, reunion, and your person wants Sorry about that, Aries. So, uh, what they want to say to you is that I bury myself in work to forget you. So it's like their coping mechanism. Um, so they don't get hanged up, hang up on um, waiting for your message. They just, you know, focus on work. Um, I will wait for a sign from you. Yeah, obviously. And I wish I could share my good news with you. So, I feel like, you know, he wants to share good news, meaning um, he wants to spend time with you. And the initials that I'm getting are Y, three E's, and V. So I think uh, E, initial E is of significance. And I'm going to uh, pull some tarot here just to see how the energies are, you know, for us to get more insight about this person. Just a second, let me shuffle the cards. Thank you very much for that, Aries. So our current energy is the death card. So you could be dealing with this Scorpio energy. It's with the Three of Pentacles. So the death card talks about change, transformation, um, having that version 2.0 and taking action towards making this change. So I feel like there is um, cooperation. Um, they are gearing towards compromise and making amends with you, talking it out, understanding you, working with you here. Um, at the very top we have the Hermit. It's a Virgo energy and again we're getting major arcanas here. There could be... this is impactful um, when it comes to you know going through um, life and events in our lives so there could be um, it could be affecting you greatly here. So it is with the Knight of Pentacles. 
So I see this energy of being wise and really taking time to in do introspection with what they say. Um, they could be a person of, of few words here. And they do want to take action on this offer to you, Eris, um, but slowly. So they want to take their time in, you know, uh, getting their ducks in a row and even um, giving themselves the time to work things out, whatever emotional, psychological, um, spiritual issues they have. And um, this could be Virgo energy, it could be Taurus or Capricorn with the Knight of Pentacles, but it's being emphasized by the Hermit, so I think you're dealing with the Virgo here, Eris. Underneath, I'm sorry. Okay, so underneath is the Two of Wands. And that's with, again, this Taurus energy, this Earth sign. So, I don't know if they're seeking advice outside or th seeking advice from friends or some kind of a mature individual. But they want to move this relationship forward, going towards commitment. Um, there is definitely going towards that. So moving the relationship to the next level here. Um, they're quite of a traditional individual. They want, they want, they have values that pertains to traditional values like getting married, um, getting mar um, marrying first and then having kids, um, that kind of um, I ideology or um, religious beliefs. So some kind of um, characteristics native to this individual. So in the past we have the Queen of Pentacles. And it's with three of swords. So there's a, f a feminine energy, earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. That has been hurt when it comes to, you know, their, their characteristic as this giver, this nurturer, um, protector. So they have been um, betrayed in that sense. However, they're pretty strong and they're, they get, they're gonna keep on fighting because the Three of Swords, it's, um, it's, it's, uh, it's an understanding of pain. It's a manageable pain. Um, so I don't think this Queen of Swords is having trouble managing this. So that's what I mean. Um, we have the outcome as the Queen of Wands. So this is you, Aries. You're coming out of your reading. So Queen of Wands um, for Aries. That is uh, between March to June. So you could have just met this person between those months. It is with the seven of pinnacle or uh, seven of swords so there is some kind of uh, like um n uh unreciprocated love or you know because they're taking everything and they're leaving just the two of swords as you can see in this so and they are being sneaky about it you know at least be honest <laughs> I mean, for uh, Queen of Pentacles, because they are so giving and supportive and um, that motherly, sisterly f uh, figure. So at least be honest about it. At least say what you want. Uh, you know, appreciate the other person, but they're not. They were sneaking out and taking more than... Um, more than what belonged to them and as time goes by as this um queen of wands they they are they know who they are they know their value 
So, um, it's 100% for both parties to make things work, right? And, you know, this other party is not giving their 100%. So that is why there's this uh, death or transformation or change to happen. Um, and be this queen of wands instead, you know, this elegant and proud not this because uh, uh, the queen of pentacles they're a little bit meek like their uh, head is bowed down a little bit looking at their pentacles so they're not so self-focused they're not the sophisticated strong individual like the queen of wands that i see here so but they are they have their own strength right and um so let's get a final advice here for Eris. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning into my channel. I've, I am also working right now. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why there's a lot. Okay, there it is. There is your final advice. It says transformation what did i say it jumped out right you saw it uh your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things so i feel like you're going through massive changes in this relationship and if you're gonna be strong like the queen of wands like the heiress energy this you know um ruler really making things work and action driven i think this relationship can survive this whoever this resonates to and um because that's what the advice of transformation is it could be a relationship with yourself if you are have a deep um relationship with yourself and what how you view yourself your self-value um your outlook of being able to achieve what you want in life this that that is definitely what is being uh what is telling us here and i think that the choice is yours here air is being you know the queen of wands showing up here um they're waiting for you to take action they're counting on you they're relying on you on things and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.